This is tutorial number 25 and it covers how to use the corner sketch feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up a new Katia V5 part and once you've done that, let's go to the sketch workbench. So we'll click sketch and click any of the planes. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to use the corner feature right here. And from this corner feature, we're going to be adding uh, a fillet or a corner, whichever way you want to call it, to two sharp edges. So to start off, let's draw out a square. So we're going to draw a square. And what we're going to do is we're going to add corners or fillets to all of these corners here. So we'll click the corner button. And, we'll, and to activate this, what you have to do is choose two uh, lines that come to a point. So we'll choose this line and this line. And you can see that we're able to pull and we get a preview of our corner. So we'll just leave it right there and it automatically gets dimensioned. So right now it's at about 18 uh, for the rad. So let's double click on it and let's change it to 10. And now the whole thing changes. So now let's go around and we'll give every corner a 10, uh, 10 millimeter rad. So let's click this line, click this line, and then you get it and we'll change it to 10. And we'll do the same to this line here. Click this line, click this line, make it 10. And we'll do it to the last one. Click this line here, this line here, and we'll make it 10. So now we've gone around and we put corners on all of these. Now all of these were all 90 degree uh, corners. Now not all the time are you going to have a 90 degree corner that you're going to have to put a fillet or a corner on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a couple that have different angles. So I'm going to draw a profile out here. One's going to have a large angle and one's going to have a small one. So what we're going to do is we're going to dimension these. So let's make from here to here, let's dimension the angle and let's make it 15. And let's dimension this angle here. and we'll make it 160. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the corner or the fillet on a 15 degree angle and we're also going to do it on a 160 degree angle. And this is just to let you see how when you put it on angles that are not 90 degrees how they affect and how they come in and move around. So if you click the corner, the first one, let's do this larger one here on the 160. So we'll click this line here and this line here. And you're able to see that we're able to pull it and it comes down. And with a larger opening or a larger angle, it takes a lot more to create that curve in it. So you're given a lot of uh, leeway when you pull it down. So let's pull it to about here. And you'll see that the uh, the rad is about 60, so let's put it to about 70, click OK, and there's not too much change. So when you have a large angle, you need to have a very large rate, uh, very large rad to make a big difference on it. Now let's do one in between these two here. So let's click corner, click this line and this line, and with a corner, it takes a very small uh, rad to make a change. So let's throw the corner there, and you can see that the curvature change here is very uh, dramatic compared to the curvature change here. Meanwhile, the rad here is only about 2, and let's put in 2, compared to 70 here. So when you have a larger angle, the rad change is going to be much smoother. And when you have a smaller angle, the rad change is going to be a lot more drastic. So when you're drawing your sketches, rather than going through after and adding a fillet to your uh, part when it's a solid, you can actually do it now in your sketch and create those corners and those fillets. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the corner feature within Katia V5.